Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers and find out which one is larger. We have square root of 5 plus 5 root 5 and 4 and we're going to be finding out which number is larger. I'll be presenting two methods and then I'll show you the numerical values. So let's see how this goes. First method For my first method, I'm going to do something a little unusual. I know some people are going to say, where do you get this from? I don't know, maybe from practicing these kinds of things, you kind of start getting it. So it's not too hard. If I can do it, you can do it too. So I'm going to square 2.2. And you know why I'm doing that? Because I know that 22 squared is 484. So therefore, 2.2 squared is 4.84. And it's pretty close to 5. If you use 2.3, I think it's going to exceed 5. So I don't want that. I want to be below the 5. Why do I want to be below that? I don't know. I'm just going to square this number, okay, and then see what happens. So this is 4.84 and obviously this is less than 5. Now let's go ahead and write the 2.2 as a fraction. This is the critical part because by doing this you're going to be able to compare an irrational number to a rational number, which is really cool. So I can write this as 11 fifths and then square it. And I know that this is less than 5. Let's go ahead and square root both sides by using the positive square roots, of course. And this is going to give us the following. So this is really nice because I can multiply both sides by 5 and that gives me, and just flip flop, 5 root 5 is going to be greater than 11. Why did I want to get to 5 root 5? Because I have 5 root 5 under the radical but I also have to add a 5 to it. But don't worry, we can add 5 to both sides and that's going to be fairly easy, trust me. If you add 5 to both sides of this equation, both sides, meaning that you have to do it on, on the right hand side as well, you're going to get that 5 plus 5 root 5 is greater than 16. Notice that we didn't use a calculator, but we just had to use the fact that square root of 5 is 2.2 something, right? Okay, uh, hopefully you knew that. If you didn't, you can still test it out. You, you don't need a calculator for this, just multiply by itself. And what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to square root both sides and everything is positive, so it's all good. If you square root both sides, you'll notice that square root of 5 plus 5 root 5 is greater than 4. We were looking for the larger number. In this case, it happens to be the radical. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Now, sometimes it's hard to find two methods or two or more methods for comparing numbers, but for this one, I was kind of fortunate enough to come up with another approach. So, suppose x equals, I know there is going to be some similarities, but I consider, consider this a different method. So, suppose x equals this and y equals that. I know some people just write these numbers in two columns and then they keep doing the same thing over and over and, until they can compare those numbers easily, right? So, I'm going to do something similar, but I wanted to use substitution because substitution is cool. So, square both sides. You, you'll hopefully get the idea. And then subtract 5 because I want to isolate the radical and then I'll square again. But whatever you did here, do it here as well. So y squared minus 5 is going to be 11. Awesome. You get the idea? Okay. Now I'm going to square both sides because that gets rid of the radical. 5 root 5 is squared is 125 and 11 squared is 121. You see how close those numbers are? pretty close and now I can compare them right obviously x squared minus 5 quantity squared is greater than y squared minus 5 quantity squared now I can square it both sides because notice that everything is positive and we can backtrace everything here so x squared minus 5 is going to be greater than y squared minus 5 and then from here x squared is going to be greater than y squared since x and y are both positive x is going to be greater than y. So it's a little more algebraic approach or yeah, you know, a solution with algebraic flavor. So our radical wins again. The square root of 5 plus 5 root 5 is greater than 4. Yay, great, awesome. Now let's go ahead and and by the way, if you can find a third method, that will be awesome. I don't know, I couldn't think of a third method, but I'm pretty sure you guys are smarter than me. So I'm pretty sure someone is going to come up with an alternative 
approach. I trust you on that. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the numerical values now. So here's the numerical value of the square root of 5 plus 5 root 5. It's about 4.0225. And as you can see here, it's slightly larger than 4. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.